Hey folks, this is Angela from State of Puzzling. I wanted to share a technique that I use for transferring a, a large puzzle um, from a smaller backing to a larger backing. And I just kind of wanted to share this. So this is the Rex Ray puzzle that I'm doing, that I'm currently doing, and you can see it's coming along pretty nicely. So the Rex Ray, uh, let me get it up here on the camera is a, um, it's a 32 wide by 16, 32 wide by 16. And obviously I have it on a foam core right now that is um, 20 inches wide by 30, uh, um, by 30 uh, high. And so obviously I'm two inches off and I'm gonna need to transfer this puzzle. You can see that when I did the, the border pieces, I have borders in sections. I'm not able to connect all the borders. And because this puzzle is moving along pretty fast and I'm gonna probably finish it up this weekend, I do need to get it onto a correctly sized backing board. And so this backing board will actually be, and I'm actually not even sure about this because I have it on a foam core, which is I think about a three, it's, it's th maybe three sixteenths of an inch and I'm about a sixteenth of an inch off. So this, this is a corrugated piece of cardboard. It's not archival strength. So I'm going to have to change it again, but for purposes of finishing the puzzle, you know, I'll, I'll move it, shift it onto the larger board, finish it up, then I'll turn it over and I'll, I'll make a video of all of this, but I'll turn it over, back it, and then I will swap this board out for an archival grade, larger foam core board. So I'll have to order that. But I just kind of wanted to share how I go about doing this. I do it all the time, especially for the, the larger puzzles that I'm doing. I don't always start them out on larger boards. So what I'm doing now is I am um, collecting the loose pieces and I will put them, notice that I'm, I'm still separating them from the rest of the pieces that um, have yet to be sorted. So these pieces here, I really kind of know where they should be and I want to preserve that. So I'm just gonna go about collecting these and I'll put these on top. So I do have some connections there. I'll leave anything that I have already connected because I don't wanna lose progress on this puzzle. So see like this little thing, these little pieces here, I'm going to leave that. And then let me just kind of turn it so that I can get the rest of them. And I try to keep them in the same section so that I can kind of get back to making progress on this puzzle. But I'm just going to go about collecting these pieces so that as soon as I transfer it I'm gonna come back and I will lay the I will lay this these loose pieces out again and then I'll continue with the progress this puzzle is making making really good progress I started this one last weekend um, I think this is a thousand yeah this is a thousand pieces um, I didn't expect this to go as quickly Rex Ray puzzles have historically taken me a long time to do because as you can see, the puzzle is all about patterns, but I've done a, I've done a couple of the Rex Rays now and I kind of have a really specific way of doing them, um, which is kind of different than the way that I do my other puzzles. And so I find that it, it makes these puzzles go faster. I do have a video um, on that as well. And so, so basically I have these, I have these sections here. I'm going to I'm going to remove this these boxes. And so I have these sections here. And the main thing that you want to do, like I said, the thickness on, you know, from the first the original foam core to the new larger board. The the larger board is 
a 24, 24 across by 36. And if you remember, the puzzle is 16 across by 32. So I'm going to have plenty of space transferring it. The thickness is off by about a, a 16th of an inch. Um, I'm doing this on my bed. I usually would do it on, I would recommend if you're doing this for the first time, do it on a desk or something hard, but I'm just kind of doing it on my bed. And notice what I'm doing here is I'm just looking at the edges here and I just want to make sure that my edges are as close together as possible. And then I'm just going to, you know, really kind of work on a piece at a time and just kind of bring it across. Just bring it across. And you'll actually want the new board to sit a little under the original board and see how that's see that that's going to come across now interlocking on this puzzle I talk about interlocking in the other videos but interlocking on this puzzle is not as tight so it's kind of got a medium interlocking so just be careful and you just want to carefully bring it over so the way that I'm doing this is the new board is sitting slightly under the old board and that way you can just slide, you know, just slide it right on over there. Leave yourself room. And basically that's how you go about doing that. You just kind of want to bring everybody across and see just slightly under, slightly under. And see that way you can leave everything intact. And so I'll just go about doing that. And, and and really you don't want to have it like this because this is really too 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 much here and that's going to cause the puzzle to come apart and so just line them up but then just kind of slightly push under and I guess you know maybe working on the bed surface is a little easier because you have a soft surface underneath but I've done this on the desk as well and it really does work very well Okay, so now I'm going to bring this large piece over and I'm just kind of preparing for that. And let's see, just kind of come under a little bit, a little bit, push that over there. And now let's bring this large piece over and I'm just gonna make sure that I have enough room. Okay, so this is like that. And just trying to preserve, okay, so I have a little gap there. I think there's some additional pieces missing. Oh, I think it's probably this or something, but I don't know. I have to kind of resolve that. Let's leave that over here. And then I just want to go for this large section here. Just going for that large section. Now, some people use, you know, some people may use a spatula and various things there, but I really think um, you can do this pretty easily. The main thing is just keep it level. See, so everybody is over here. And then you want to, you know, um, to, to do this other side, you can swap the boards. Okay, so let me go ahead and I'll swap those boards out. So I'm just going to do a nice little swap. So I'll just go ahead and change that. Move my glasses. And so I've been meaning to, to do this. Um, I've made, it was making some really, really good progress on this puzzle. And um, I wanted to show it to you though. Okay, so when you swap the board, so make sure that you're on the right side of where you need to be. And so for that, I'm just gonna use the box just to make sure, right? So um, the green is over here. So basically the puzzle is sitting this way. And so then this tall green tower is here. And so when I move this over, it's going to be oriented the correct way. So let's just do that same technique there. You just wanna, you wanna 
line them up and I have a little bit of a um, uh, kind of a wrinkle in this board so just be very careful there but just kind of bring the puzzle on over and see so you can slide it right on over and then we'll get the rest of the pieces here and basically that's gonna be it and now this puzzle is still set up. And let's bring the rest of the pieces over. So not too bad, right? It's not too bad. You can do this on, this works excellently on really large pieces. Um, I've done this when I'm preparing to travel with a puzzle and I have to, move anytime you just want to move a puzzle from a smaller board onto a larger board if you're doing a puzzle in pieces let's say um i'm doing my first nine thousand piece puzzle and i have a lot of pieces that are done i'll use the same kind of technique so again from when you're shifting from board to board you ideally you want to have the same thickness on the boards um, but in this case, even if it's off a little bit, the goal is, is just in that seam line, you just want to create as smooth a transition as possible. And what I find to be easiest is the board that you're transferring, the from to, that board needs to be a little higher, a tiny bit higher. So you just push down a little bit and then bring those pieces over. So now, as you can see, I've got plenty of room. I can work on actually getting the entire border piece, and then I can continue my progress on this Rex Ray puzzle. This is Angela from State of Puzzling. Happy puzzling, folks. Goodbye for now.